Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. After a little bit of a break, because, you know, life. And as a special, special thing that hopefully won't go terribly, we are also doing a dual stream onto my YouTube channel just to see how that goes. Especially considering that Twitch is kind of just imploding ever so slightly. And it's just like, eh, why not? And then we can just just see how things go. Bibbidi ba. Maybe not entirely forever, depending on the game. I did a little bit of a test with, like, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's just like, what would the most major game feel like on that? But, meh. As for now, we are just going to continue our Rome adventures. And while we do that, I can talk about random things. I forgot that the flags have icons. Assassin's Creed 1 really could have used that. Oh, wait. Is it? Is it? Also, I just realized there's a Borgia influence tab, which is nice. That's a, that's a nice thing to have. I have already liberated a few places, and a few places seem to have not been in need of liberation, which is kind of neat. But I was going to do something, my brain got sidetracked. But yeah, because my brain was like, oh, flags. Assassin's Creed could have used that Borgia influence. I was going to say something. Because before that, I was just talking about how, like, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I did a rough estimate. Because I don't think YouTube allows you to do what... Oh, yeah. I'll finish that thought and then go back to the thought that I didn't finish before. But I don't think YouTube has a thing like Twitch does where you can basically do a fake stream to at least see, like, what kind of strain an actual stream would do with your systems, with uh, the Twitch inspector, where you can be like, test this out. I don't know if YouTube has that. Shrug. But, as for the other thing, there should be a mm, glyph thingy. There should be a glyph thingy. I do believe. Okay, that is just a really long I stopped there because it's just giant name. Hmm. Uh, sort. So there's one at the aqueduct and one here at the Colosseo. I, I don't. I'll have to. I'll have to see about this one. You can set a marker for the place. Great improvement. Very nice. Ba ba ba. Now, the hard part will be, uh, finding oh, that is impressive. The, the glyph. That is impressive, he says. I don't find it impressive. Because... Ah! But... Well, are you trying to mug me? Bright, are you? You're the guy that, like, got up right on me. Yeah, I, I kind of don't like that there is a glyph at the Colosseum. Like, I, it kind of makes sense that there would be a glyph at the Colosseum, but especially because you can't frickin' see the glyphs unless you have Eagle Vision on. And I don't know if they'll be nice and be like, Ah, oh, yes, you can see the glyphs from very far away, even though typically, like, usually you can't see things very far away with eagle vision like I don't know and the fact that yeah you can only see them in eagle vision has me a bit worried I don't think I looked out here hmm gonna see if I can like cause I don't know I could always leave this glyph to be done a later day, look up where it is, because seriously, putting a glyph in a big, big frickin' architecture that 
like, I don't know where they put it. Maybe they put it in a nice place. Maybe they put it in a not nice place. For a moment, I thought that window was the glyph and I would have been, oh, thank God. If they were nice. No. There is no niceties to this. But there is a feather. No, oh, that's not a feather. That's a flag. Of course, you're easy to find. I don't even know if I want to grab you, because I don't even know what grabbing all the flags does. Yeah, we got. And now we have to come back to the horrid reality of asking the question, do I leave the glyph for later? Because I don't know where it is. It can be basically anywhere in the Colosseum. Colosseum. And again, you have to wander around in Eagle Vision to see. It can be on the ground floor. It can be on any number of the upper floors. You can only see it in Eagle Vision. It's just a big anger, angry soul for me to be eaten by. It's like it could be like in the trenches down below. It could be up here somewhere, and I'm missing it. Apparently there's a lot of drunk poor people over here. I kind of wish that they were a little easy. Well, there's a treasure chest, so that's always nice. I don't even know what I got because I, those stuff doesn't show up in Eagle Vision. Which is ever so slightly funny to me. <coughs> Eagle vision. <laughs> Takes away your normal vision. And again, it could be like in the trenches. It can be anywhere. I have half a mind to look up a guide because... It, I don't know. There, there's just something about like lol. Find glyph in big place. That... Yeah, I don't know. Kind of ticks me off. Like, it would be one thing if I could look for it with my normal eyes and not have my eyes gouged out by the eagle vision. Which apparently, like, has, like, a depth of field effect if it's not in the center of your screen, which I just noticed, <laughs> and is now eating away at my soul. Because typically the only way to really nail down the glyphs... Ah, well. The only way to nail down the glyphs is to, like, look for the glitches. But I guess we'll, at the very least, come back later, if not just outright, like, not care about it till the far-off future. Maybe look it up, because I don't like stuff like that. Find the needle in the haystack, the game says. I am sorely tempted, but at the same time tempted to not, says I. Again, still don't know if it's feather per district, or if it is just, like, totality. Just six. I mean, ten per place. I forget. Did we try this one? I think we got hooked on the Colosseum last time, and they're like, ah, I'll do those later. I guess while we're here, we can scout out the Borgia Tower, hit that, then the mission. Just see how things go. Because the Borgia missions, or like Borgia Towers, I should be precise, can range from being very simple to being, oh dear god, why? Granted, I only ran into one, oh dear god, why? Which... Oh, I, can't, I don't. I don't think the game will let me go that way. It set up a memory block. Game says no. I, I understand why the little database things are like mapped to that, but the uh, my brain is still does the anger when the game is like, sorry, you can't look at your map at this time. I get why it is contextual. Just add a thing. I don't know why, it just constantly shows up exactly when 
I want to use the map. And maybe that's just a me problem, but... Oh, it hurts. I should have probably grabbed a horse. Let's see if it'll block off this area as well. It does! Game says no. Go do the main mission. And off to do the main mission I shall. Then. How dare you think you could do open world things in this open world game. What will the 100% completion thing be? Don't lose any health! Alright, so this is gonna be a stealth mission. Deliver the letter to Machiavelli near the Terma de Treno. We also went through time. I think we're about to get ganked. Decent. Oh no! It oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! It said, don't lose any health. Don't lose any health, it said. I'm scared. I, I, I have thoughts, but I am... No! I have to redo it now. Restart the memory. It says, don't lose any health, and then it throws a gang... Bleh! Mean game. But as I was gonna say before I instantly realized, oh no, it's a fight mission, and it wants me to fight while not losing any health... Uh, is, yeah, th again, uh, these guys are like a side thing, I think, being introduced here. They're like a cult, I guess. I... All right. Keep an eye on the glowing, uh, the glowing one. Come on. Luckily, they're very easy, but I'm also very scared at the flashing lights of doom. Okay, there we go. Apparently, that increased... <laughs> that increased my income? I kill a bunch of rapscallions, and that increases my... my money! That amuses me. And yeah, it's just like the mo- the moment that I, like, connected the dots, that they sent a horde of enemies at me, and then said, don't lose any health, I immediately went fear. They must have come from in here. They must have come from... Oh, I guess it does make sense. They have an animal motif. There's a skull over it. Kind of reveals yourself, but... Whatever, random cult people. And now I just ask... All right, new memory. Complete the memory within eight minutes. All right, speed run time. Uh, uh, it's one of these. It, oh no, is this the, are these the new assassin tombs? Oh no. Let's see how many times the game locks away my control. Okay, I wonder which way it wants me to go. I believe that I all right, there's the first time it took away control. Not in the worst place, but... Can I reach? Or would I jump? Maybe here. Yeah, that seems more reasonable. Go for handholds, not leap of faith to place you might not be able to reach. I have to do this in eight minutes. For 100% completion of the memory. That's going to be a time thing. Oh no, it's not going to be a time thing. All right, it added water. Why? Why 
why would it add water? I need to add all the water. Okay, the four corners, I guess. The game did show me. And it even has on the minimap that you probably can't see because my avatar is covering it. There are minimap icons. That's the one downside to the placement of my character. If there are things there, people won't be able to mock me after the fact. You fool! Alright. Doesn't really seem like there'd be much to here, unless I can leap from this to the other one, which I probably can, because the game kind of showed it off. And then I think I can just leap and grab for two simple ones. And then it'll probably tell me to go do more. I don't know how long I've already been in here. Kind of wish there was a timer, so if I wanted to, I can go restart. Because my completionist brain was like, ooh, if this is a thing I can just do, I won't do. Hopefully we can do it within eight minutes. Ah, and then the floor is going to break because it looks breaky down there. I don't think that's what they intended to happen when they built that place, but sure. <laughs> Luckily, this isn't the last one I did. Oh, that is not what happened. My Ezio fell to his near death. Okay. I'm getting... Do it in eight minutes, they say. Uh. I'm confuzzled. All right, apparently, I think I'm doing something right by accident. Doing something right by accident, that is fine by me. Because I feel like I need to slightly speed run this now to get the 100% memory completion. All right, not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be for some reason. I thought it was gonna be a bit harder on the brain. We even saw some of the wolf guys and they didn't even factor into the section. And it does not look like we are over. Oh no. Well, that's a big lull. You know, this might be slightly more enjoyable if you didn't put in an invisible uh, time limit thing that we aren't allowed to actually see how long we've been here for. That so far is my main gripe with this, is it has a big old time limit that it's not really informing you about like over like how much time you have left after informing you by the way you need to be basically perfect or else you're screwed and have to do this again and instead of allowing you to go aha I need to restart because I've spent too much time here instead of that it's just oh yeah screw you do all that again make your own timer I'm just going to assume we need to climb the vivisected statue. That's just how things go in this world. A 
climbable thing. Ah, uh, that's what it wanted. Game, please. Why does that always happen when you don't want it to happen? Whenever I want to, like, gently climb off a ledge just by holding the right trigger, the game is like, no, you shouldn't do that. But then when it wants me to, like, or rather when I don't want to, it's like, go, be free. Be free of contextual hell. And it does not look like we are over. Please. LOL. Do they just speak in wolf? And again, do this in eight minutes? Uh, I don't know where it wants me to go now. I'm sure it has a pointy point, but it kind of took over my controls, and I don't know ex- Okay, that's just mean game. We're gonna take control away from you. Once again, uh, a time limit would have been nice. Because now I'm just eternally on the, am I going too slow? Now I can get back up here. Yes, Ezio. Now if you would, uh, like, uh, randomly say out loud, wow, I have been in here for seven minutes, that would be, that would be nice. And also, rude game to put treasure chests in your time trial. That is extra mean. Yeah, th that is the meanest thing in this thing so far. It's like... <laughs> treasure chests in your goddamn time trial? What? That, I find to be just mean. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna get angry if he didn't auto-grab that. They're just not hearing any of this. Could help if, I fall. if you fall, I'm gonna scream. Because again, I don't know how long I've been in here, because I thought it would just be a nice, quick one. I thought it would be quick, but it feels like it's going on forever. We're gonna make a time trial. And then we're gonna make it super time. gonna be more time than trial. Well, no, it's gonna be definitely a trial of my patience. I think that's the half mo uh, half minute, or like a half time sound effect played. So that's something. Perfect. The route up if I fall. <laughs> oh, nope. I think I'm screwed. It's playing sounds. <laughs> I hate... Well, fine, I'll do it on my own. I'll do that 100% on my own time, but yeah. Uh, fuck that. <laughs> Especially considering that they didn't, like, inform me that they have that as a thing. That would have been nice to know. The timer is invisible. And again, I thought it would be quicker than it is. So I did it in like eight and a half minutes. So yeah, I don't like that 100% completion thing. That felt mean. Again, not showing me the time when it was obviously there. I heard the sound effects of the dun dun dun. I heard that. 
So it obviously existed. Maybe it was a very small element away from the screen. But yeah, I'll 100% complete that on my own time then. Scroll of Romulus 1. I leave my family's armor here, one of the finest sets ever made. May you find... You who finds it receive strength in battle. Change of handwriting. We have taken it and set it back behind the iron door. Six keys unlock it, spread amongst our brothers. It shall be said to come from Romulus, and they will, uh, will worship it. Zoom in to see image. Interesting. But yeah, fine, I will 100% that memory on my own time, since watching me go through a time trial again and again and again and again would be pretty boring. But yeah, I just felt like <laughs> eight minutes, we're not going to tell you the time. And also it's going to be annoyingly long for what it is with the time limit it has. Because I felt that was a little bit of padding compared to like the Assassin Tombs. The Assassin's Tombs did not feel like as like a uh, as the drawn out as that. Romulus. This band of false pagans has been terrorizing the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church. Quite convenient. Exactly. Not to mention they're I believe crazy. The Borgia are supporting really, the impressive thing is that they could write. Remain scarce. That is why the letter is so important. Here it is. I hope you can break a cipher. Cazzo. Another encryption. Do you know where this Leonardo is? supposed to be legible. They are transmitting them using a code sheet. Again, Without they talk it, like wolves. Oh, wow. And they can freaking make encryptions? Not the only way to win a war. Antiamo. You said we had allies in the city. Bring me to them. Tell me where Leonardo me. da Vinci is. He'll break a cipher. Oh, I probably can't even buy that because this place is probably under. Ah, uh... uh, maybe it isn't. Don't care about that. I wanted to see the map. Interesting. For some reason, it felt like we already like saw that before. But okay, another glyph, or maybe the same glyph. Very root walk by. The point, my dude? Are you taunting me too? Bet you'd like to go to that uh, <laughs> diddly dee, wouldn't you, Ezio? Bet you'd love to synchronize. Through the tunnels to avoid the guards, but many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. Interesting. I already kind of discovered that. Oh, one second. I need to... I, I need... To, I need... I have a primal need to synchronize. Can I, it? can I climb this at all? Does that seem like... How? How can I climb? Aha, maybe it wants me to climb this building to get up there. There's a synchronization point. There has to be a way. Unless the game expects me to go, like, to the edge of the aqueduct and climb from there, which it probably does. There was, like, a Borgia, like, diddly-doo guy. Uh, he's just standing there. Menacingly. Okay. But... I will... See if I can climb the aqueduct tower thingy. And uh, gain access. I am already annoyed. Why can't it just be, hey? Why do you put a synchronization point that I can't seem to actually get to? Like, unless the grip points are just uh, hard to see for some reason, which is entirely possible. 
The game can be obtuse. Come on, that's, that's a grab point. Or maybe it's a... Yeah, a game. Like, maybe you were doing it because, oh, you can't actually climb this, but still weird when it is something that is climbable that the game goes out of its way to be like no don't climb it yeah it doesn't look like this side is climbable which begs question why put in these things that are obviously climbable again goes into the well they told you not to do it but still I don't know it just feels ever so slightly annoying when the game is, like, taunting me like this. Why make synchronization points into an annoyance? Just have them be a thing you can do. Like, being them... At, like, it, the, the synchronization points that are part of the Borgia Towers, those don't bother me. Shit like this, this bothers me. We're gonna make it annoying to get this one. Why? It's a synchronization point. It's not meant to be a challenge. It's just meant to be a thing you do. Why? Uh, I don't like it when people look at a video game, like, thing that's been five million years, and they're like, we're gonna make this fucking annoying for no reason. And again, maybe, uh, I, I don't know. Now I'm just asking the question, am I meant to rebuild the aqueduct? Before I can synchronize there, that'd be fucking stupid. I know that we can, like, rebuild certain buildings. So is this one of them? Does the game say, fuck you, rebuild this first? Because that's all I want, I just want the synchronization point! Why? Make it annoying to get the synchronization point! It's stupid! <laughs> Unbelievably stupid. I hate it when games do that. Now I'm just left because these are just these normal things. The synchronization points were just normal things in all the games. Hey, go here, climb this building. Assassin's Creed 2 was kind of an asshole at times. It was like, oh, you have to like pretzel around a tower to get up to it, but fine. But this now it's just like, is there one magical point that I meant to climb from? Uh, do I have to go all the way down to the other side of Rome to then cross back? Do I need to clear out a Borgia Tower and then meet an architect here, fix it, and then I can climb it? I don't know. It's stupid. That is all that it is. It is stupid and I hate it. Don't make simple things obtuse. That's just it. Don't make s normal things obtuse for the sake of... ah. It needs to be an in-depth process. Why? If you're gonna go that far into being an asshole in design, why not make the controls like Tekken? You need to really spam the A button to be able to move your legs at all times. I've heard a great deal about you from my cousin, Bartolomeo Dalviano. A fine warrior. Fabio has you feel soft-spoken compared to Isola him. Tiberin. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon I hope we will be free. Now I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? Most See, definitely not. <laughs> do you know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Caterina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apple of Eden? How could we have lost the Apple? They killed so my uncle. So you do not know what goes on with our enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French allies. We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy, and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? See, Do I need to be- <laughs> But they refuse to talk to us. Great. I don't know why. So basically, this is like Assassin's Creed 2, what but everything is do? against us. <laughs> Make some friends.
Well, at least that one's 100% synced and everything's glitching for some reason, so the memory is going to collapse and then reconstruct, it seems. But yeah, I'm still annoyed that I couldn't get that synchronization point without just cause. Again, I don't know if it was just that I didn't see the one place I could climb. I didn't know if it was... I just can't do it yet, I need to rebuild it or what? Basic functions should not be made up to, so I just swear, I hate it. I do not- what's the- oh, that's just- hey. Romulus treasure, if you want to. But yeah, just eternal annoyance when games act like that. We need to make the normal thing diffy. I hate it. It's just bothersome. It doesn't do anything. And I just hate it so much. Personally, I feel like game developers should focus on making their games more fun rather than more obtuse, but maybe that's just me. Fun treasure on the rooftop. Also kind of find it funny that the game didn't let me explore the assassin hideout before it kicked me out back to the streets. Either implying that there's nothing to do in there. Get! Oh. Uh, ah, ah. The game didn't even let me dive, it felt like. But I didn't expect to be thrown into the river like that. So maybe it's my fault. Let's go renovate that bank. We'll do a bunch of side stuff and then we'll leave as Desmond to do whatever, I guess, because it was an exclamation point, which means, hey, new stuff. I would like to withdraw my money. Now, is there any, like, smithy nearby that isn't locked down? Templar Lair. I forget if I've noted, noted those or not. Well, I guess what I'll do is... I'll grab these treasures, renovate you, hopefully be able to grab the crossbow, because that's the one thing that I'm saving up for. That's the one thing that I want. We'll grab the treasures, sell our stuff, and hopefully be able... To get the thing. Only for 900? That's cheap! And plus it also increases my... I guess 20 minutely... Income. Would you like the Roman longsword? No, I would like... Shop quests? I'm gonna sell my stuff. Sell everything. Sell everything. Would you like a bunch of tomatoes? They were in chests in a ruin. So I'm not sure how good they are, but they are tomatoes. Okay. I would like to buy the crossbow itself. Because I having a silent thing to be able to do stuff with is neat. Roman Greaves, those are cheap, sure. Roman Longsword, it's better than what I have and relatively cheap, sure. And Shop Quest. Oh, I need to have items to be able to 
unlock certain things. Okay. That would have been nice to know ahead of time, guys. But at least I have the crossbow. For, like, stealthy takedowns, hopefully. And now we shall continue on grabbing money. Oh, is that what it is? Ah, black sh blacksmith shop quest. So it's actually noted on the the map. That's very nice. But yay, crossbow! Yay, crossbow! I guess I'll go ahead and go those two, and then like just renovate a few things along the way that I can. Except for the big things that I can't afford. That I don't know. Kind of annoyed by the Romulus treasures. But yeah. Maybe we'll try a, a second hand at that. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the smoke bomb pouch. To make certain things a little easier on me. Only for 800. God, taking my money, Nobody's taking anything from you. And you also... So I'm low on money there. What's the special thing? Pulling threads for the large quiver. All right, purple dye and silk is what's hey, needed. I do find it ever so slightly funny that the third game in, an Assassin's Creed just kind of went, and now time for Shop Simulator. Find that kind of funny. And I don't think paintings really do anything. Would you like a very specific treasure map, I guess? Complete the shop quest to unlock that item. Interesting. It's next time. Adio. I guess I'll gather up random treasures as we head up there to get rid of the Borgia influence for the area, because why not? And we'll just see what things do. Beggars of gross weight, or those immovably disabled, are asked not to beg directly before the door. Shopping. Hello there, Aster. Unless the O is pronounced as well. We are wandering around Rome, gathering money, and just trying to get back into the swing of things. Primarily, ever so wanting of upgrades and shop renovation. Because if there's one thing that the Assassin's Creed, like 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood do right, is it makes it very satisfying to be like, number go up on renovation and inventory. That's always nice. Yes, 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 Mr. I guess Musketman. I still equate those rooftop guys with archers after playing two Assassin's Creed games where they are just archers. And then we'll just grab whatever treasure chests happen to be on the along the way. Primarily because I think going purely for treasure chests time and time and time again is a little monotonous and breaks the flow of the game. But if it's just like, ah, eh, it's on the mini-map on the kind of way, why not? How are you liking Brotherhood so far? So far, really enjoying it, except for maybe the one 100% memory thing for the first tutorial Romulus Lair treasure. Where it's like, do it in eight minutes, but we're not going to tell you how long it's been. 
But it's like, eh, you can replay the memory at will, so it's not a terrible thing. Just a minor annoyance to my brain that goes, but I want 100% the memory on my first go. Especially because I was like 30 seconds off from doing it, but oh well. But so far, the only thing is uh, probably the times where it takes control of the camera away during those kinds of segments. Because, I don't know, it just it, it seems to mess with the controls to me, and I dislike that. But so far, no complaints of, like, Brotherhood-centric. I do enjoy, like I said, renovating the shops, the kind of upgrading of things, even if it is still kind of funny how the Assassin's Creed went very RPG with Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Yes, 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 pickpocket, you exist. Well, let's see if we can survive in here. Although I probably should have the crossbow. Be it. Aha, yes, I remember. <laughs> this is the one where they specifically took away all people around this place to allow you to not, like, draw any guards out. I remember now. <laughs> I still find that funny. Where it's like, aha, you do not get to distract the guards. Hmm, I wonder. I doubt I'll be able to. If anything, I should... Because this is the guy that runs. So I need to play... Because I probably won't be able to do it because I was too poor for smoke bombs. But maybe I'll be able to do it. Brotherhood is goated. I'm playing Revelations right now. They took game after this. Nice. I'll definitely get to Revelations eventually. Oh, how I miss my smoke bomb. I don't think it would be easy to gain distance to then, like, shoot him and him alone. I don't think he'll move. No. And if it, even if it went away, I don't think I'd be able to target him specifically. Profound sadness. Just me. Uh, oh, it was right there. Right there, he, for a moment. Which, at that case, I might as well use the gun and not the crossbow. It's just, ooh, I have crossbow. It's new. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, and they all ran away because I killed them. Yay! Ha-ha! <laughs> Cheese your little game. He was gonna run, so I say die. Uh, it's always nice to kind of, again, ever so slightly annoyed that they're like, aha, we're going to take away the musket men on this roof so that they can't draw him away. Well, screw you, game. I draw him to death instead. Aha. And now I just need to figure out the climbing puzzle. I think that's... <laughs> Crazy how Ezio is in his 40s in this game, and he's doing all this insane stuff. <laughs> Especially considering that he <laughs> ca called a, a doctor a jerk for pointing out his age. <laughs> and then he goes on to do stuff in Revelations, where he's <laughs> much older. Or at least, decently older. But yeah, if, uh, if I've got to say, I was reminded of probably the only negative thing is the them deciding to make climbing a bit more obtuse in the sense of we have to make climbing be a puzzle itself like uh, there was a synchronization point I couldn't get to either because I'm blind and couldn't see the way up or maybe because they were just like you need to renovate this aqueduct before you can do it like I don't know now I just need to find the synchronization point just to make it simple although I, I they might just let you synchronize as you burn it, but I'm paranoid. So that's probably my only real gripe is them taking the synchronization towers 
from just being that thing that you do to, ah, it has to be a whole ordeal. Not terrible, but it's just like, in the m moment of doing it, Brain is just ever so slightly annoyed by it. Nice organ music while burning down the tower, at least. And again, these towers are very... explodable for some reason. Might as well renovate the bank, because... That gives money! And places to get more money. In Revelations, he's like 51 to 55, and he's like fighting Templars in Istanbul like it's nothing. Such is the power of Ezio. And the reason why they were like, we want to make a whole trilogy with this guy. And then they proceeded to do just that. Although I do find it funny that they're like, oh yes, Assassin's Creed 2. And then Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Revelations. And then after that, we made Assassin's Creed 3. Which is just ever so slightly funny. And then they never made Assassin's Creed 5. They went back to the numbering solution for like two games. Well, more like one and a half because it went Assassin's Creed 3, then Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, in which everyone just calls it Black Flag. I don't see a nearby. Ah, oh, fine. I'll do that. I guess we could also fix up the tailor here, just for the future, why not? But at the same time, I might have enough for the smoke bombs! <laughs> they were like, ah, screw numbers, man. Yep. One thing that I'm very interested to do in my Assassin's Creed series playthrough is to eventually get to the Origins era, because that really shakes things up. And depending on how the assassining is handled, will probably d determine if I like it or not. Overall, I'm not, like, uh, against the idea of making it more, like, action-y, but... I do like the emphasis of being on assassination in my assassin games. <laughs> but let's go ahead and do this here mission, because why not? I'm on the wrong side of the building, oh well. The mission is here, and we have many missions to do, so why not do it since it's along the way? Knock, knock, it's me, the assassin Manson. I have a crossbow now. It was expensive. Made of good wood. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore, stranger. I am no stranger. Father, would you be kind enough to call the owner for me? Madonna Solari is not in. Do you know where she is? I... Aiuto! <laughs> Aiuto! Madonna Solari! A Lucia! We thought you were gone for good. The men took us on a ship, and they released me, but she... Who took you on a ship? Wait, what sequence and mission are you on so far in this game? I think the first mission of Sequence 3? We just completed Memory back. Sequence 2, I believe. Basically, we went, did the tutorial Romulus treasure lair, talked to Machiavelli, met the mercenary guy in the Assassin's lair hideout, and now we're trying to fix up the thieves and the whores so that things can be good and we have a good, proper underground. Deliver the money necessary to save the mistress of the Rosa in Fiore from the slave traders holding her captive. Full synchronization, do not swim. Ah! Oh! Uh, hopefully that won't be terrible. Might have to sacrifice a bit of stealth to do it, but oh well. And that's gonna be a huge kick to my pocketbook! Uh! I was gonna buy some smoke bombs! And now I can't. Mm. <laughs> it just tells you, hey, if you need money, you can pickpocket. Which is kind of hilarious. But yeah, since it's still on my memory, 
I recently did Assassin's Creed 2 as a part of my Assassin's Creed series playthrough, and I have to say, I did not know that the, like, uh, memory things of 12 and 13 were at least downloadable content. Like, I do not- never remembered them existing at all. And then Assassin's Creed, uh, oh, not Assassin's Creed, but... And then Memory 13 was probably my least favorite thing ever. I'm gonna say, Assassin's Creed, uh, 2's Memory 13, like, felt like it was incongru- uh, No, that's not the word. It felt like it was... Out of place. For some reason. Just way out of place with like how many guards there were, the fact that it's like, hey, kill nine guys, some of which that I'm fairly certain that the majority of those were just, hey, remember Assassin's Creed uh, 1? Interesting. Also, today I just realized Leonardo da Vinci was gay in this game. Yes, he's in the game, but he's not significant as he was in AC2. I think I briefly remember that. It's hard to tell. My memory of this game is flawed. Ah, uh, uh, beauty of the crossbow. Body falls. Yeah, because, again, my memory of these games is just shot. For some reason, I thought that I played through Assassin's Creed Brotherhood a long time ago. Maybe I did, but I sure don't remember all that much. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Well, if I can, I it would be nice to get that synchronization point. For the synchronization point, I go. Oh, and also a fun fact about Leonardo in Assassin's Creed is in uh, he's voiced by the same guy that plays one of the Rafiks in Assassin's Creed 1, particularly the sassy, passive-aggressive one, which I find hilarious. Which I guess out of the three Rafiks that you get, and since that Rafik wasn't, like, story important... Game, let me go. <laughs> it's kind of nice that the most interesting, non-story important Rafik got an upgrade in this game. And now let's see if this will be a bothersome tower to climb as well. Oh, I guess another thing that I find mildly annoying is that they took away my jump climbing. Which, I, at least I think they did. The game doesn't let me. I've been trying, and unless I'm just absolutely failing, they took it away from me. And it hurts. Well, let's go slave trading, I guess. Trade a slave. Even though we're saving somebody, technically we are partaking in slave trading. Because instead of just killing them and taking the slave back, like pay them, make sure the lady gets to a save point, come back and kill them all. Oh, that treasure's on the other side of this wall. I'm a fool. I also do kind of enjoy the like interesting music that plays for this mission. It just keeps going, even though I'm doing like kind of side things. Steal from everybody. I even got like 700 florins off of one person. I think they're florins. Just climbing comes back in Revelation. Really? That feels weird. In some places it feels like that would be the perfect thing for this. And then... <laughs> I wonder why they just decided, yeah, we're gonna take this away after introducing it. Because I did know that it came back in Assassin's Creed Revelations. But I didn't know that it, like just doesn't exist in this one. Interesting. Are you here for the whore? Are you standing me? I have your money. Now do I Let kill her you? Go. No! Take it up with Cesare! Lol. Well, now I gotta kill you all. <laughs> Very rude. Luckily, I can kill you all the same. 
Uh, that's one thing that I do like. Is the combo attacks, even if it feels ever so slightly wonky at times. I wonder if I... I got my money back, too. Well, looks like we need a new... Headmistress. And we'll come back for you, Borgia Tower. You just need to be careful not to fall into the water. I'm just gathering up, because why not? These guys drop a decent amount of money, and I need lots of money. Well, dead body. Hmm. You'd think that we would take the body with us. At least as a thing. Interesting. Well. Since we don't have to worry about the body. Let me just make sure that that's just the Borgia Tower symbol being... Okay, good. We can do this. So let's go kill the man. Is Ezio's just old in this game? Hence why revelations you need a specific piece of gear to climb up. That does make sense, but it's just ever so slightly funny. Just that. Look back. I'm not a murderer. You're a murderer. It's not my fault that she got in the way. My targeting reticle was perfect. Oh wait, we should probably put that off, because I don't want to swim. If I swim, I lose my 100% and I have to do this mission again. But, back to the thought that got interrupted, is I, it does make sense for like revelations, ah, you need new equipment to fully pull it off. I just find it interesting that they introduce a mechanic relatively late into Assassin's Creed 2, and then they just go and leave it to be reintroduced another game later. I don't know, it's just interesting. It does make sense because Ezio is older, but from a gameplay perspective, it's ever so slightly odd. Especially because if you come from Assassin's Creed 2, you're kind of expecting them to give it to you again. Because everything else is like improved versions. Okay, highway robbery. Cool. <laughs> I I thought something. I thought it was gonna be a weird interaction, but no, we just ganked that guy. <laughs> yeah. In the end, understandable, but just kind of odd, because. Gameplay since tells you, ah, yes, was in previous game, will return, especially because it is a direct sequel and not like uh, an odd sequel like any of the other Assassin's Creed's beyond the Ezio trilogy. Because it going from Ezio trilogy to, say, Assassin's Creed Black Flag or Assassin's Creed 3, like, that makes sense because it's not like a direct sequel, so maybe not everything will make it over, but since this is specifically a. Ezio game. You'd think Ezio would get to do all the Ezio things. No peeping. She is dead. Which, considering everything, maybe isn't it a bad thing. Mother? Sister? Ezio. Oh, what? Sir Machiavelli said she just, that you might they're just deceive. deciding we're gonna what run this whorehouse now. Has Firenze been attacked? No, or rather, I do not know. We did not go to Firenze. Why? <laughs> Ezio, we want to help. I was trying to help you by sending you to Firenze. But they want Where to help you. Solari? She's dead. dead. <laughs> Merda. What <laughs> now? Will we have to close? You cannot close. I need your help. Messere, without someone who can run things, we're well, finished. Claudia, looks like you All got right. a new job. <laughs> you do not belong here, Claudia. I know how to run a business. I ran Uncle Mario's for years. She's got a point. This is different. What Not really. What alternative do you have, Ezio? You do this, Claudia. And you are on your own. Harsh. I've been on my own for 20 years. 
He's got a Fine. point. <laughs> he got a point. I intend to repair the brothel. This place is a real mess. And I want your courtesans to find Katarina Sforza. You can count on us. Seems ever so slightly harsh. It's like, you're on your own. When, really, she has been on her own for quite a while. And this is kind of our tutorial to renovate big buildings. Too bad it's not the same Architecto from Assassin's Creed 2. That would have been amusing. Renovating the Rosa and Fiore for 2500 will allow the courtesans to have more prominent presence in Rome. And he works fast. Pleasure was all mine. <laughs> And now it's much better, and business will be booming. Ah, it even uses that same kind of jingle. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore. As you can see, the most popular brothel in Roma. My money went well invested. Here, it was I keep relatively a list cheap, of the skills everything considered. Girls. You're not teaching them much. Think you could do better? Nessun problema. <laughs> it's you. The Borgia make it difficult for Claudia's girls. There are several things you could do that would aid them. Like kill Borgia people. I will keep that in mind. Anything else? No. Ezio. Did you find Caterina? We are She is in a bad state. Bene. Come to see me at Isola Tiberina with her location. <laughs> I find it funny that, like, the one character bio that I really read... Was that always there? I don't think it was. There's a glyph in here! Also, that did not uh, bump up my stuff all that much. Renovating Rome, yes, we already kind of know that. So, hmm. Interesting. I guess these are just, like, little things you can do. Horses belonging to guards commandeer about killing the rider. That's interesting. So, not all of them even belong to courtesans specifically. The ending of Brotherhood confused me beyond belief. I can't remember the ending too much. We'll have to... Eh, screw it, let's see. Well, first... There's a heartbreak challenge. Christina mission. Christina. Like, the, the girlfriend that only existed at, like, for five seconds at the beginning of Assassin's Creed 2? What the hell is that? Copra Nico. What? I'm confused. But, okay. First things first, I'm going to find the glyph around Rosa Fiore. We'll do the Katarina mission. Or not, not Katarina, Christina. Also, it doesn't help that they have very similar names to me. Katarina, Christina, bleh. Like, again, maybe uh, my brain is just on fire. I'm bad with names. But yeah, okay. We'll find the glyph, run over here, do the synchronization just because we can. And just like play it by ear. Because I wonder, is the thing. I don't think it would be in the. I don't think the glyph would be in here. Again, it's hard to tell because you have to always be in this mode. <laughs> but it does not seem to be here either way. And we shall leave. Now, I guess I would also be like my one gripe overall is the glyphs in Assassin's Creed 2. I kind of preferred them in the finding them segment. Like actually finding them, I preferred it. Okay, I did not even know that was a flag. And I just to find, like, yeah, like, being able to see the glyphs, like, uh, 
either way in Assassin's Creed 2 was nice, but I do think that I prefer the puzzles in this one. Because some of the puzzles in Assassin's Creed 2 when it came to the glyphs, oh, they hurt me. Ezio looks really good for his age, especially after 20 years of fighting Templars. Indeed. He was a handsome man. Cluster 4. Now I'm just reminded that I'm going to have to find the glyph at the Colosseo. Oh, pain. Loading. Indeed, monotone voice. These intelligent workers have no self-control. I'm going to assume that's robots because... That's a person. I'm going to assume you no self control. No self control. Do all auditores just not age? Probably. I mean, Uncle Mario didn't look like he aged. Like, those are obvious. Then let's just go crazy. Click them all. Well, apparently I'm wrong somewhere. These intelligent workers have no self-control. It has to be robots. Again, like, robots are technology. So one of these is wrong as well. Obviously, maybe because this one... But it's like obviously showing off the idea of a robot. But maybe because it's more statue than robot. Uh, and I feel like that one mm, kind of works. Wow. I'm wrong on that front, apparently. Yeah, these are the ones that also kind of I don't like because the... If the hint is kind of vague, and then it's usually something that I don't know. These intelligent workers have no self-control. Like, again, the obvious answer would be the robots, but that's obviously wrong, because I did all the ones that had robots and technology, and the men did not like that. Also, I think Claudia's in-game model didn't change from 1474 to 1500, so man, does she not age? Yep. These intelligent workers have no self-control. Is it the funny aha, it's actually the people? Because, like, I feel like these ones... No self-control. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the game wants. Because I figured that it would be the robots, but it wasn't the robots. Because that one's obviously robot. Maybe, maybe not this, because it's less intelligent than the robots? Ah. I never did the glyphs. Understandable, because they are ever so slightly... Okay. Loading. It didn't, like, I guess because the light Scanning. was less intelligent, Scanning. but... Maybe, maybe. Apples, Dang. origins, pears, cucumbers, radishes, Dang. carrots, spinach, dates, wood, junipers, steel, aluminum, water, rain, shanty, village, town, city, country, spring, summer, fall, winter, to walk, to sing, to dance. This is some kind of odd slam poetry, it feels like. Loading. Ah, boy, the obtuse one. I don't like these ones ever so slightly because... They're always like, and now, everything has to be connected to everything, so you can't just do them one at a time. That always bothers me, because then my brain just has a hard time connecting them properly when they, like, multiples move together. Like, yeah. <laughs> When multiple of them move together, it just makes it really difficult on my brain to get it all to function. Because then I just end up going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and side to side. 
just like <laughs> I had it correct once. <laughs> once. Oh hey, it just worked. Yay. That one. <laughs> this. One of these, I forget if it was an Assassin's Creed 2 or this one, but one of those where it's like, lol, like the middle one's connected to that one, and then that one's connected to the outer one, so you have to constantly bounce between three of them again and again and again and again. Oh, it hurt my brain doing that one, but luckily that one was nice. Whew. It is possible to invent a single machine which can be used to compute any computable sequence. I'm not interested in developing a powerful brain. All I'm after is just a mediocre brain. Huh. Loading. Loading. All right, what chess move do I make today? Alan Turing set out to solve the plight of the workers. <laughs> M equal Q something B? Why? Why does it have to be math? Question, what is your favorite game of all time, and what is your most played game of all time? I honestly have no idea. I'm gonna answer this before the, the chess puzzle because... <laughs> oh, God! But, uh... My favorite game of all time... I... Uh, it bounces around a lot. It mainly depends on, like, what kind of game that I'm, like, really into. Because I like a lot of games for a lot of different reasons. Like, I actually prefer Assassin's Creed 1 to Assassin's Creed 2. Primarily because Memory Sequence 13 sucks! But I really like, like, uh, Warcraft 3. Not the Reforged version. That is terrible. I like Starcraft 1 a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. And also, it doesn't help that my brain just kind of shuts down a lot, and it's like, oh yeah, that game exists. Like Icewind Dale. Not a lot of people really remember Icewind Dale. More people remember the Baldur's Gate games before Icewind Dale comes along. Fallout New Vegas. I like Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, that whole Elder Scrolls trilogy. I like Pikmin. I love the Spyro the Spyro the Dragon trilogy on PlayStation 1. But yeah, I honestly don't think I can name my favorite game of all time. Because it constantly bounces around with, like, my mood, what game I prefer at what in time, what game I'm in the mood for. Because it also makes it really hard to, like, judge, like... Kirby and the Forgotten Land to Yakuza 0. I know that the obvious answer is just to go, oh hey, to you personally, what game brings you more joy? And I just, I don't know how to answer that. Because to me, my brain just goes, I like this game. And it, my brain is very simple when it comes to games. Granted, it can also be super hypercritical, but when it comes to games, my absolute favorite very difficult because I have a soft spot for Pokemon Gen 1. Again, like just tons of Kirby games. Elden Ring is great. Sekiro is amazing. Like, there are just too many games that I like that I, unless I really just sat down and meditated on all of the games that I really, really like and made, like, a top 100 list of video games on YouTube, then I don't think I'd be able to answer that. Maybe that can be a goal someday. If I get this popular on the internet charts, I make my super duper 100 video game favorite list. But the my most f played game uh, would probably be Team Fortress 2. Purely just because I really like playing Team Fortress 2. <laughs> Never heard such an elaborate answer to this question. My brain overthinks things, definitely. But yeah, my most played game is probably Team Fortress 2. Just because, well, that's the factual answer. I have like over a thousand hours in it, I think. And I don't think there are any other games that I had like... I know I had a lot of hours in like Skyrim on the 360, so if you like 
combined my hours between Steam and Skyrim on 360, it's probably up there, but it's the factual answer of how m my most played game is probably Team Fortress 2. And now... Um... I'm going to assume that I do this. That was just a guess, by the way. <laughs> that was the... Because <laughs> it's just like, that's the only one that really makes sense. Obstergo phone records. Subject, seven, uh, subject 16, how did you genetic memoryify Obstergo phone records and encrypt them? Finally, an answer to the most played question that isn't World of Warcraft. And the answer to that is, I don't play games that have subscriptions. <laughs> Granted, if, like, Final Fantasy XIV's free trial really sucks me in, that might change if I ever have a lot of free money to spend. Might have to stream more of the free trial, because it is a good free trial. Well, let's see... Oh. I did it by accident again. I don't even know what I did. Hey, it's Anne. I need uh, Turing done today. Why are we jumping the gun? Uh, <laughs> You've already had him arrested and sedated. He still refuses to follow the directive. He's actually trying to invent one of those infernal things instead of merely faking it for the newspapers. If he succeeds, you know what the mass unemployment generated by his robots will mean? Idle hands. We need to do this for the good. I just of realized the, the date as well, games? 1954. Trusted, it's the greater good we're talking about the here. The greater good. Plus, a childless worker sends a bad message. We can't have them all stop pre producing. Fine. It's your call. I want it done like we did Harry Dexter White when he tried to warn the Soviets. Lord, all right. That's Be some historical reference Maybe I don't something get. From the Bible. Turing always was. Theatrical. Did Loading. Did Alan Quarantine Turing die zone. some way? What was subject 16 on, bro? This guy making CIA level puzzles for us. Oh, I forgot. And I have to do like 5 billion of them. I don't even understand why there's a photo. Okay, so there's one. There's two. There was just two! Lifted. Why did it blip when I went to the right? <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Well, that took time. But okie doke. But yeah, I have no idea why a bunch of the memories of Subject 16 are like this. Genetic memory is also basically genetic computer science. Somehow. Alright, we're gonna go do that synchronization tower because I assume that we can do it and it would be nice to do it. Well, actually, I don't care about the random building. I want to get to my map. Since we're going to be in the neighborhood anyway, smoke bombs. Please let me have enough money for some smoke bomb pouches. I don't know why they have to be like super duper custom tailor made. I was just handed. Sm well, technically, I wasn't handed smoke bombs in Assassin's Creed 2 because the game. Like, even when the mercenary literally said, Hey, Ezio, here are some smoke bombs to make this emission easier. It gave me the pouch, but not the smoke bombs. And I did not like that. My favorite game is probably Bloodborne. My most played game is Geometry Dash. Interesting. I need to play Bloodborne someday. I played it a little bit. 
a long, 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 long time ago, and I really should, like, give it a shot sometime again. <coughs> Even if it is different from the other Soulsborne games. But hey, I also really like uh, Sekiro. Ah. Please. Guards, please. I'm a good man. How dare you grab me? Uh, uh, <laughs> I clicked the stop grabbing me button, and, uh, well, he did stop grabbing me, but I don't know. Coward! I punch you now, even though I have my sword selected. But yeah, I just have way too many games. And I've played far too many games to... Like, super duper reasonably go, This is my most favorite ever. Because my brain doesn't like to make things easy. Again, maybe someday. I'll make my top 100 favorite games, and then like five days after making it and launching it, I will go, hmm, what about this game? And everything will be ruined. Maybe that should be the joke if I ever do it someday, where I go, yes, this, hello friend, goodbye friend. I completely forgot what I was doing. I was here for a tailor shop, not climbing buildings. I'm dumb. But yeah, maybe that'll be the joke. For some reason, I thought it was 600. Hmm. Or 6,000. Funny how the final boss of this game in AC2 is so easy at throwing knives. The funny thing is, I actually super duper lamented uh, my throwing knives in Assassin's Creed 2 because they became useless for general gameplay, because apparently they're, like you said, I did not know that they cheesed out the final boss. But in Assassin's Creed 2, I mainly used them for archers on the rooftops. And then the archers got an upgrade and refused to die in one hit to throwing knives, thus making them useless to me. And I oh so lamented them. Oh so lamented them. Trust them. But. Yeah, I got really mad. I got big mad at some point playing Assassin's Creed 2 when they were just throwing guards all over the place in Memory 13. And I'm just like, good God, why can't I just have. My poor beloved throwing knives actually be useful. I was losing my shit in Assassin's Creed 2 around memory 13. <laughs> I was losing my mind then. Lamenting the poor uselessness of my darling throwing knives. Mocking the gun that I assumed was the reason they lowered its efficacy. One, uh, 10 to 20 throwing knives absolutely mauls through the Rodrigo Borgia boss, bro. <laughs> Hilarious. Meanwhile, I was just like, eh, hey, I'll just beat you up. <laughs> I'm quite paint by numbers when it most of the time. Unless I find something specifically myself. And usually that's by accident. I usually don't really experiment too much, which is probably a fatal flaw of mine. I really should experiment more on things. I think I forgot to put the thing back. I forgot to put the thing, put the thing here. Huzzah. And slowly but surely, we will get the 9,000 needed to get my smoke bomb pouch. Because that would just be nice. Also, I do find it funny that this game makes the gun much more interesting to use because it's actually quick and you can combo it with the sword, so that's just nice. Also hilarious is uh, one thing that I noted in Memory 13 of Assassin's Creed 2 was how like Assassin's Creed 1 it was. Like how... Uh, uh, or no, not... Well, kind of. But also that this game is also quite like Assassin's Creed 1 in that they bring back the beggars. They bring back the 
vigilantes who help you mid-chase. While he's throwing knives and you have a hidden Glock, mainly because brain goes, but I want to be stealthy. So when the game is like, here's a... That was an accident. When the game goes, here's a very loud weapon, my brain is just like, no, I need to be stealthy. And so I neglect to use it unless I'm just like, you know what? Screw this. The hidden gun became my screw this and you weapon. When I basically no longer cared about stealth and just wanted a quick way out of killing a dude. <laughs> Which technically is probably what they were going for anyway. But I just like, I want to use the hidden blade to kill the guys. A hidden Glock in the 1400s. That's presumably much older because it's in the Codex. At that. Yeah, we might as well renovate the bank and immediately take out what we have because... Maybe, please, maybe it will be enough to get my smoke box. Granted, this is a very expensive bank. Slowly but surely, I will have a decent income. Withdraw money. So close, so yet so far. Eventually, I'll have the money to just run about randomly upgrading random things. Randomly, randomly. I am word good. Well, let's go do this Christina quest. I'm trying to remember because, again, there's Katarina and then there's Christina. Is this the girlfriend from... I assume it's going to be the girlfriend from the beginning of what Assassin's Creed 2 that was just completely forgotten to time. And not the leader lady of uh, Forley. Who, whose entire fate was spoiled by the her bio in Assassin's Creed 2. That basically was a big laundry list of, yeah, this lady is in for a terrible, terrible, terrible short life. <laughs> Do you also notice how enemies in this game actually drop valuable stuff as opposed to Assassin's Creed 2? Yep, that is one of the nice things. One of the actual nice things. They give you a bunch of droppables, so you, if you're like, I need medicine, you can just go kill some guards and get your medicine and your bullets and your throwing knives and your bolts. It's amazing. Not sure if they drop, like, the incense, wool stuff, but I could see that being a random drop. Need to get to the mission. <laughs> Excuse me. We should spend more time. We shall go do some missions and less running about. Take A new fake group of planners and the treatment of gout is being held. Speak to the random lady. The world dissolves around you. Like the guards drop medicine and bullets instead of like five florins. Yep. Ah, uh, the majesty of... Hey, <laughs> let's actually make this... It's one of the first things you learn in Assassin's Creed 2. Uh... Ezio, why are you running down a lady who is sprinting really fucking fast through the Matrix? <laughs> that amuses me. What about oh, that what? one? Oh. oh, super memory she's time! She's beautiful. Okay. Super memory time. To. Just like that? Talk about what? It doesn't matter. See, little brother, most men are so afraid of beautiful girls that anyone who actually talks to them has an advantage. Just make it up as you go. <sighs> Fake it till you make it. Also. <laughs> that smile! What? Why are you just standing there? Yeah. Oh, uh, um, Poor young because Ezio. I wanted to ask you something. 
Which is... <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Not Awkward Ezio. I wasn't ready. I was planning on being really charming. I was planning on being charming and funny. I just have a second chance. <laughs> oh, well. Ezio. <laughs> Memory oh, Ezio got it blended in. That amuses me. She will remember you now. No, I can still fix these. I'll follow her ways. See where she lives. I'll stalk her. That will make her like me. You know what, cave the Borgia in power if it means these policemen actually get paid stuff because, we men were they un underpaid in AC2? Yeah, I can see that. Follow Christina to seek the renewal of her attentions. I didn't expect us to, like, get transported back in time. Interesting. Again, my brain tells me that I played Brotherhood, but I do not remember stuff like this. And also, this Christina model, if it is the same lady from, again, the very beginning of Assassin's Creed 2, then, like, they changed up her model something fierce. Oh, and they also added in a auto-walk feature for blending in. Neat. The ultimate way of stalking someone from the rooftops. I didn't play the Christina missions, whatever they are. Yeah, that's the thing, is that I have no idea if these, like, again, I didn't do the Templar layers in Assassin's Creed 2, but they were added in as, like, I guess maybe you play something or just general DLC. It's hard to tell. So I have no idea, like, if my memory is just shot or if all of this was stuff that was added in later. No, it's not possible. Just my imagination. Funny that they gave her that line. <laughs> Impossible. Can't be that random guy. Then again, would be, again, very creepy stalker Ezio time. Have you started the DLC yet? I assume not? My assumption is no. I assume that she can see me because I am behind a tree. The ultimate place of being seen. Wait, get back here. Did Leonardo go missing yet in this game? Not yet. We have not met Leonardo. We are probably, I would say, seven ish hours into the game? I don't know. I told you I'm not interested. Do I get to beat See, him up again? But I am. Get in line. I think not, amore mio. I've decided I'm tired of waiting for you to open your legs on your own. Kill him. Well, look, we can't kill him now. Cane <laughs> rognoso. It'd be like Metal Gear you Solid. You committed a paradox. Nice to see you too, Vieri. I think you're disturbing this young lady's day. The tree might help you. Hmm, I don't think I have counters. And the best you can do. Shut your mouth! I'll kill you! No, no, that that's the that's the game that happened before. Why am I not surprised to find you, folks? You will pay for interference. I grab him, say a Your long line, will. and then I just headbutt him away. Thank you. That was very kind of you. <laughs> Via Vieri, this dickhead. Exactly. You asked for my name earlier. It's Cristina. I met Zio Aditore. I met Zio. Well, Ezio. 
Looks like you got yourself a second chance. Little bit of oddity within the game. And remember, kids, the moral of the story is, if you're a good person, stalking is the right answer. I know that's not what they're going- and, uh, okay, that was odd. <laughs> the world was uh, ever so slightly opaque. Well, less opaque and more like seen through a milk jug, but still. But yeah, I, again, there's no way of telling if that was something that was added as DLC or it's like a you play store thing or if it was just something that I did not know existed. Thank God it's you got a beard cuz <laughs> what is that smile, bro? Indeed. Very interesting. And then next, we could do a courtesan mission or assignment. You know, I just realized, this is Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, but we haven't done anything. Well, renovate that, grub those two, and then do that mission. Carpanico, or whatever. And then we'll probably jump out of the Animus as Desmond, because game says there is stuff to do. I'm sure there's also, like, the, oh, you can run around Villa Auditore in Tuscany and find, like, artifacts, like the Medici cape, but I feel like that's unimportant, and I don't care. Because it's just wander around places that you presumably walked around in Assassin's Creed 2, but I didn't really, so I don't really know how to navigate too well without the minimap. That too is like a 15th, 16th century Italian Batman. And he's gonna get his own Bat family soon, because this is Brotherhood. We get to recruit people soon. And I think... No, I have no vault capacity in there. Sadness. I must steal from you instead. I'm also extra sad that I can't sell things anymore. I mean, I could sell things. But I need to save up the things for the store quests. When Mario died at the beginning of the game, I was flabbergasted. The only reason that I knew, uh, like, uh, didn't get to have an honest reaction to that was because I... That was, like, the one thing that I remembered from Brotherhood. Aside from, like, the things that I thought that I remembered. But, yeah, it is a pretty bold move to kill off Uncle Mario like that. It was a very bold move. Very. It's just like almost random in a way. Granted, when he took the ore, like the apple, I was just like, yeah, bad things are gonna happen. <laughs> Silence. I shall now loot your corpse for money. But Capronico. What shall this mission be? Will it be a Leonardo mission? I presume not. I think that he would be somebody that you'd meet in a main mission. Then again, this is an open world now, more full than ever, so... What is a main mission anymore? Oh, that's cheap. Go ahead and renovate. I need to up get all of these fast travels open anyway. Yes, it makes it harder to get my beloved <laughs> smoke bombs. But it also makes traverse. Then again, I'll probably just default to running about anyway. We must change to understand it. It's secrets will only be revealed through a careful study of the truth. But we have been taught incorrectly. Theories by great men who were limited by archaic 
Oh, I thought we were gonna deal with that guy, but we have to talk to you. Who are you, little man? Who is this man? He comes from Russia. I hear he studies at the Vaticano, but his words are unlike any that issue from that place. Some may tell you to be content with Ptolemy's explanation of the heavens. Interesting. His mathematical contortions of the spheres dancing around the earth. <laughs> but why are such complicated numbers required? Perhaps to disguise a myriad of contradictions. You must question bad logic. It is why how we you need to, to teach us questions. what is bad logic, my man. I didn't even know there was fast Wait. travel until I saw a pop up in Revelation. It's like, Wait, those things are fast travel. Oh shit, those are fast travel spots. The Borgia are involved. I guess so understandable I. because you kind of get used to going about on your own. Although they do kind of give you a tutorial in this game. Take no damage. Any of this. Gone, friend. Yay, big guy's dead. Be gone, friend. We have to survive for a long time and take no damage. Thank you for focusing on him. And people are just cheering like this is a cage match. Ah, uh, great. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm not sure how I would have handled that. Kill them all. Kill them all. He's taking so much damage. And this game is telling me to not take damage. The game is rude. But at least I'm getting a long ass combo. I got knocked down. Please don't hit me. Okay, the game kind of tricked me there because I thought that. I thought, for some reason. I am. I'm very fearful. This says take no damage during the ambush. No! Game! The game ch He did that! Dickhead game. Enemies should not be able to do that. I could not see him. He did not get a flashy flash warning. How dare! He just ran up on me! Unfair game. That is uh, rude. Okay, but Ezio knows how to curve a bullet now. Neat. <laughs> Dang it. I don't know how. I should have just shot him with a gun. I had such a good thing, too, and then he just was a jerk game. Blah. To be fair, I prefer parkouring around the city more than these games. Yep. That is a funny thing. I guess they just added in the fast travel just to be like, eh, you can do it if you want. But yeah, that is a very rude game. I almost had it perfectly. Note to self, if I see them from afar, I'm going to shoot the big guys, like the unique guys. Oh. That works. I need to kick them more. Note to self, good. Gun. I also like that those don't take bullets by combo finishers, which is nice. No, I refuse. 
I refuse to be bullied by any of you anymore. I accidentally kicked my friend. Well, the guy that I'm defending. Pick up a sword. I'm very busy. Killing dudes. I didn't even try 100% seek in the slightest for this game. But I must. It just comes to me. Oh, longing. I'm just gonna shoot you. Be gone. I ain't dealing with you, bullshit, man. I'll kill the remaining guards. Oh no. Gone. I prefer to just disarm the big guys instead of the kick. Yeah, it's just, it's been a bit since I actually fought, like, the big guys, legitimately. So, I just kind of defaulted. To like, okay, what works? Oh yeah, we have a kick. And then I just got lucky. Now I'm gonna restock. Hopefully get some bullets. But yeah, when that one pikeman just came out of nowhere and stinking auto-attacked me, ugh, that was more horror movie than anything. That reminds me. I wonder if I should try to play, like, any kind of horror game this Halloween. It'd have to be, like, short enough to do and not... <laughs> Like, at least a horror game. Maybe. I have no idea. Horror games just... Screw up. <laughs> screw me up. Because I just innately get, like, immersed in them out of... Super easily. Well, that's enough looting for me. So now we can talk to the guy. 100 sync for Who sequence six memory one is dog shit to so be ready one in a while in freedom. that's probably going to be one that i'll have to grind off screen Ezio. they call me nicolo copernico i have heard your name spoken at the ball Chacot. but now i have proof that you truly exist il vaticano welcomes you yet you are under attack by its guards it's a little funny one of them Truthfully, you would be right. Ah, he was a Templar. I was a Templar. And today? The Templars wanted me to keep the findings of my experiments hidden. And that I cannot do. The Borgia hunt for you and your friends. My fellow scholars? The logic of such a purge escapes... They tried it before. Find Copernico! But we will discuss reasoning later. <laughs> Follow me. He seems reasonable for a Templar man. Reach safety in under 3 minutes, 20 seconds. On me. And we'll try to avoid guards. Hmm. Even if the 100 sync for that memory is ass, the memory has the single best piece of dialogue in the game. Neat. It must have <laughs> balanced, as all things must be. Hmm. So, I need to find a way down in under three minutes. And I, will he follow through jumps and stuff? Will you climb with me? He will not climb. Okay, good. Out of the way, people. We have to find a way down, and I have no... <laughs> Escort missions don't really work if they don't free-follow you. Because... <laughs> they don't really make sense. Since you don't travel like normal people do.
I wish that there was like a follow the line guide to more easily guide you down to a place, because I don't know how to get there. Oh, Found down here easy. Good, good. You did lots of things, and that is why you must die eventually. <laughs> and then the line from that memory that is one of the greatest. Nothing hangs between your thighs. In fact, there's a hole there so deep it reaches into the fucking underworld. That is a good line. I probably did not do it justice. What? Help me! Random guy? Jerk? Let's go. Random guy just came at me. Hopefully this is under three minutes. Alright, Hopefully. Then again I probably would have heard the dong. You will be <laughs> safe here. <laughs> what of the other Countdown. scholars? How do I know I can trust you? How do you know anything? Knowledge gathering is a dangerous enterprise. Easier to stay the line in is even better because of how it's delivered and what There's situation in which it is said. I can only right. imagine. Enlighten me. Take these letters to the scholars. They must be informed of the threat to their safety. You made that really quickly, my dude. He made those notes on the run. Yay, 100% sync. Lair of Romulus, and then Romulus Treasure. Oh, and those are both ones that I haven't done. What joy. And now there's lots of Copernico missions to go around. Yeah, this is... This is an open world. Well, let's go do some Borgia Tower. Oh, actually... Let's leave the Animus, walk around, probably not leave anything. Just talk to people, read some emails. That's a small detroit. Detroit, 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 detroit. Anything wacky? Anything mad happening in the real world of sad? Welcome back, Desmond. You know I love talking about this stuff, Desmond, but we have work to do now. Yeah, more than like... Well, then again, we did go into a new memory sequence. Let's check the emails, then. Wonder why Leonardo didn't hook up the other assassins with hidden blades. You know, that's a... That's an actual... That's actually a thing. That's a good point. I wonder if there are any... Like, any way to get the other people's emails. Probably, but uh, that would mean looking for them. MP3 player. Hey guys, you can find my MP3 player. The little black one. Let me know if you see it. I have trouble sleeping without my tunes. Make sure you stay in the loop. From Erodito. Guy Fox. No mass. Juno 57. And then we deleted that. Ah, we just got given them! Lol. Ooh. Reed Desmond. Hmm. Let's see. Outbox. Desmond. Hey, Luce. Desmond was screaming pretty loud in his sleep yesterday. It's getting worse. I don't know if you heard it too, but I thought I'd let you know. Alright, and kind of wish that in re. I did hear it, but there's not much we can do until we've reached our goal. I know it's awful, and I hate doing this to him, but it's necessary. Thanks, though. Yogurt. I had two yogurts in the mini fridge as of this morning, and now they're gone. I'm hungry and annoyed, so who took them? Re re yogurt. Sean ate both of them. I know because he asked me if I wanted one. <laughs> Lol. Re 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 yogurt. Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rebecca. Sean, you're on cleanup for the next week. 
<laughs> this just in. Rebecca is a Templar. <laughs> yeah. I like that they just, like, again, just some random person apparently just sent me their passwords, which amuses me. So let's see. Weekly schedule, re. And then just the yogurts. And then P3 player, so nothing new there. Hmm. They like each other. Hmm. Indeed. More than likely. And nothing else. Just yogurt. That amuses me greatly. Hey, what's the matter, you, Altaïe? What? That's racist. You're racist. Really? This is what you guys are doing. <laughs> oh no! I just God accidentally hit the wrong break. <laughs> I've only spent the past three fucking weeks inside that machine. No, no, you're right. Let's all just screw around while the world falls to pieces. Hey, this isn't easy, you know. Right, like we're all on vacation out here. Enough. Look. Everyone's Just under a lot randomly of pressure, everybody got we're angry. The only ones who can stop Abstergo, so we need to keep it together. She's right. We need to be a hive mind, people. Anybody up for some reconciliatory yoga? Anyone? Honestly, Very funny guys. The yoga probably would help. I didn't even. I accidentally did that. <laughs> I accidentally did that. I was just holding the run button. I was just holding the run button to move around quicker. <laughs> just... Hey, what's the matter, you, Altaïe? <laughs> and then you can just do it again. Hilarious. My work requires attention, Desmond. <laughs> we'll talk later. Now get in there and find the apple. That just dr that's Count hilarious me. to me. You gotta stay with the code. <laughs> no. <laughs> And again, I'm sure there's stuff to do, like, out there, but uh, it's timed to, like, ten minutes, and I have no idea where anything is. Good to go. But that's just... I've never seen that before. <laughs> it's funny how Sean is the only reasonable calmest person that argue it, despite him being the dick of the group. <laughs> yeah, because it's just... It was kind of a sarcastic thing, but at the same time... <laughs> all the same, I think Sean is is the funny aha dick of the group. <laughs> like his email to Rebecca. This just in. Rebecca is a Templar. <laughs> He's a funny little man. And because we're in the neighborhood, let's go see how expensive it would be to renovate whatever that is. And yep, here are the beggars, here to eat my soul again. Architect, where are you, architect? Oh, it's just a plaque. It's a lot. 27,000! Because, of course. Also kind of funny that there's a, not only a lair of Romulus, but also a glyph in there. But now we shall go and do some Borgia Towering. Yeah, I just find it hilarious that I just accidentally stumbled upon that interaction just by pressing the run button. I wish the DLC for this game just triggered automatically, like AC2. The thing is, for me, is like, the DLC of AC2 just, yeah, like, activated so simply that I almost have no idea what any of it is. Report all crime to the Guardia. Make your Give me your car! Hijack all the horses. This is Grand Theft Auto. And then it plays the epic music. It is good chase music. Well, it's a difficulty four, so let's see what this area has in store for me. Is it another underground one? 
It's another glyph! Ugh. Oh, I'm just gonna have to find, like, a map that shows, like, each individual place of... Because I... It's gonna be painful to find them. <laughs> Accidental racism. Only while working for the assassins. Besides, we literally know that Desmond is related to Altair. He has his genetic memories. So it's... I guess a little racist, but he is part Altair. Let alone part uh, whatever nationality Altair is. Because my brain is just... dying and can't <laughs> properly think of what the proper nationality would be. Hey, you. Hold for the watch. Stumble and die, Archer Man. If anything, I'm kind of surprised that Desmond didn't bring that up. I am literally related to this guy. How am I racist against him? He is my ancestor. Ah, uh, thank you for being an instant kill. That's another thing I kind of miss. I will telepathically gather your things. Die. In the beginning of AC2 Revelations, Etsu does a 1v50 against the Templars, and his dinosaur R H almost wins. I can see that. How long can you? There he is. Get him. Come on, just assassinate him. He's right there. So I've lost sight of him. You die now. You die now. You die. He's dead. <laughs> Poor archers. It's not my fault that they're evil. But yeah, we need to find the the guy. But I don't and like. There has to be like a yeah hidden underground thing. Presumably, he popped in. The guy on the horse is coming. Beggar women, go home. You there. Pay attention. I could have murdered you right now. There, kill the archer. You cannot remain indifferent to the suffering of a fellow. Follow my lead at all times. And then I'll have instant access to him. I have hopefully. experience with the assassins. I know them. Do what I do, and you will be safe. Come on, protect him. What? He isn't dead? Game, please. Game. Game! Let me control! The game wouldn't let me control things. No, not him! Game is being mean! It won't let me actually target the guy! That's stupid! Also, they have an agile here, which, you know, that's fun. That's stupid! There needs to be something that lets you know, hey, what fuck works? Come on, attack me, jerk. You'd think that, you know, hitting the guy 
with the fucking thing would kill him. But the game says, no, you don't get to. And again, you can deal with these guys normally. Thank you. Quit grabbing me. Yes, 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 game. You're being a giant jerk. And also, camera would be kind if you'd stop being a dick. Yeah, just be very nice if the game could be like, hey, this will kill, or hey, this won't kill. And also, apparently the pikeman decided to go away. Be like, can I shoot him, please? Game. Game. <laughs> there we go. Will you stop, game? I'm trying to control. Yeah, this is very rude. That's like, oh yeah, all these other armored guys, they go down in one hit. That one armored guy you actually want to kill? Nah, he doesn't go down in one hit. That feels just ever so slightly inconsistent, if you ask me. This would be nice. And then more and more just keep coming in. Go home. Yes, that face would please me. Go home. And now I shall loot all of your corpses for all the bullets and medicine you stole from me. That's another thing that I think I personally dislike in this one. It's like, ah, the Borgia captains who run the fuck away. And the game just doesn't, like, telegraph to you anything about them. Will this one run? Will he not? And then when they do run, oh sorry, you can't actually lock on to him. Because we are giant assholes. It's just stupid bullshit if you ask me. Just have them attack me! Just have them attack me! Why do you have to make bloated I bullshit decisions? That. I'm gonna punch you to death. Get off me! Get off me! No, I'm gonna stomp on you till you're dead. Come on, let me keep comboing him. Die. Come on, keep stomping him. Give me your horse. Yeah, it just feels kind of stupid to be like, oh, sorry, you hit him with a crossbow, but we're just going to decide that that doesn't kill him right now. Why? This is very dumb. Go home. It's a Glock on him. Man, he ain't coming home. Ah, he's, he works for the Vatican. He's going to the ultimate home. the ultimate home that he's uh, never been to before. And last time that I tried to sneak around the waters of an area, the guards were very mean, and saw me wherever I went. You went into the water, you can't scream! Obey physics! I cannot see! Where is- Uh- Uh- Game? Game? He leapt through me. At least now I know, if you want to kill a Borgia guard, fucking shoot him with a gun. Hey, gun. You want to use your fancy crossbow that you just got? Fuck you, use a gun. 
I was holding left there, game. Why did he go right and then up? <laughs> and then somebody fell into the water there. I heard that splash. Dice. Ubisoft. Yeah, sometimes it does feel like rolling the dice when you play these games. Will the thing function as I expect it to, or will the game tell me to go fuck myself? There's the one issue, like... Yeah, it's like, I have a crossbow. It's one-shot everything I have hit with it up till this point. Will this be the magical thing that breaks the thing? Apparently so. It's just, yeah, everything else died to the crossbow. Why does he get an exemption? <laughs> Why would I have to buy a really expensive crossbow? When the gun one-shots people anyway? Also, that is a very far dive. Okay, good. That also answers that question. They auto-synchronize. Good. But yeah, it just, it makes no sense. Like, yeah, if you want a more stealthy route, get the crossbow. And also the crossbow was like in trailers and stuff. So it's something that you want by nature of it existing. But why would it get the handicap? Where it's like, sorry, it, it does not do what gun does. The gun that you start with. Just go crazy and pull a Glock on everybody. Essentially, that's what you need to do in this game, apparently. You want to be stealthy? Use crossbow like Altair? Fuck you. Gun. Unless it's just for, like, rooftop guys. Then it's good. Yeah, it just, it feels so weird. Like, of course, the one guy... Again! The big heavy armored guys, they die, I think. Or maybe, no, I was shooting them with the gun, but still. Everybody else that I have shot with crossbow, die. One guy? How dare you see my crimes. Also, that is a big crossbow bolt that just fell from my shoulder. But that wasn't a crossbow bolt. That was a, that was like an arrow for the mission's sake. Yeah, but at that point, it's just like, hey, what if we made the Borgia guy run the fuck away and make him hard to kill? Like, at that point, the same logic would go, and also, you can't assassinate him with the hidden blade, even though he runs away. So it's just like, it feels like intentionally making it obtuse for the sake of making it obtuse Rather than like, hey, good for you, player. You bought the crossbow and you shot a guy with it. It just, it just feels a little bit mean of the game to go, no. We're going to punish you for using the new toy we gave you. That you needed to buy. Specifically for the guy whose entire game plan is to run away and despawn. There's for the sake of the mission, and then there's just being a jerk. We're losing him. It's just like, I can't blame them too much, but it's just like, does it really break the game if the Borgia captains die to the crossbow? I don't think it do. And again, the gun, which you have right at the start of the game, would kill him in one go. So it's like, it's not even for the sake of like, oh, the game. Because at that point, the crossbow and the gun are basically interchangeable to a degree. Except the gun would have killed him. So it just feels like extra mean. You have to buy the crossbow to not be able to kill Borgia captains with it. 
Imagine you're fighting Rodrigo Borgia, the Pope, owner of a piece of Eden, leader of the Templars. He pulls out his ancient holy relic designed for killing gods, and you pull a Glock on him. Basically what... If it weren't for the fact that it would uh, run counter to Ezio's character arc, most definitely would have been hilarious. The spirit of Desmond possesses Ezio, and he draws a Glock. And then he's like, Desmond? Who is Desmond? Oh, he's the guy that summoned that gun that you used to gun down the Pope. I was wondering what that was. We're gonna go pull out our money, grab the smoke bomb pouch at long last. Sure, the only time that I would have used a smoke bomb was like against that one... Borgia captain who hid behind his dudes, but still, it's a tool and it'll be nice to have. Hilarious that again, that they brought back the vigilantes and they're just out there doing their own shtick. <laughs> the assassin will gut you. It's hilarious. Fuck the creed. Praise the nine. Well, technically, it also would stand in the end. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted, including a Glock in 14, uh, uh, 15th century Italy. But now... Give me my pouch. I will take a smoke bomb pouch. And do I want the medium quiver? Eh, why not? Let's buy the medium quiver. Why diddly not? Another satisfied fly. Arrivederci. And now I guess we shall go do the courtesan assa assassination. No. The courtesan assignment. It's fair, just, again, hilarious that you start with the gun, which I do believe. W yeah, and it, I have, I have used the gun to instant kill Borgia captains. The uh, the other run a guy that was hiding behind his dudes. I shot him with a gun, and then all his guys ran away. But he can't frickin' do that with the, the, the crossbow for some reason. Long range weapon you spawn with, that's fine. Long range weapon you have to buy, how dare you. What, did the guy who, does, who came up with the idea of a gun in Renaissance Italy go like, oh, they... How dare they try to get rid of my gun. I'm going to make it so the gun is better than the crossbow. That's honestly what it feels like. Alright, but we'll do this and then maybe we'll move on to do an actual main mission that we haven't done in five billion years. Port us on assignment. What be... History is Buongiorno. fake. Give Ezio a Glock Ezio. from the 15th century. Thank you for coming to see me. What troubles the court is Basically. The old proprietor of this brothel, Madonna Solari, was a cheat and liar. Her ties to the church have been uncovered. Worse, several of those who work for us sleep with the enemy. So I need to kill a bunch of women. Visit the girls I trust. They will help you. Grazie, Ezio. Time to go murder. <laughs> so that was just an assignment to be able to go take other assignments. That amuses me slightly. 
And then I guess since blah blah blah, we'll try that Borgia Tower again with the gun this time. And, uh, ignore, ig ignore the R Romulus layers for now because I'm gonna have to grind that one that was like, hey, complete this in eight minutes and we're not gonna tell you how long you've actually been here. And, uh, we're only gonna give you a warning that you need to speed up like 30 seconds before it's over. <laughs> and then I was like 15 seconds late from finishing it. Who would have thought that, hey, speedrun this dungeon first time quick was harder than, hey, we're gonna ambush you with like 20 guys, uh, don't take a hit. Steal from everyone. I'm the son of a banker. Through the power of banking lineage, I shall steal from the poor, as is my right. Oh, there's a flag. Who would put the flags here? Why are... It's not even really removed, it's just, I'm gonna put this flag in a weird spot. Some Templar dude, I guess. Crash pad! That's my favorite way to get off of tall buildings. Who needs a bale of hay? You just need someone to... You just need to find someone on the ground and break their legs instead of yours. It'd be funny if AC2 ended like, you jump down to assassinate Rodrigo and he fakes it like usual. He pulls out the papal staff and you just pull the Glock on him and he kills him in one shot. And credits roll. Sadly... Me. Sadly sneeze, but sadly, uh, history says no. Rodrigo Borgia has to live to make other people's lives miserable. Borgia. But yeah, gun this time because nothing is nice. Can't use the civilized crossbow, have to use gun. I just need to find a way up, walk around the outskirts, find the guard captain and shoot him with the goddamn gun this time. Because the difficulty isn't killing him. The difficulty, well actually you kind of yes, the difficulty is killing him, but Come on, you might even have ruins if I can't climb them. Such bullshit. We're gonna have these tempting ruins that you can't climb. Why? Why do you exist? All roads must be kept clear for the Guardia. All roads, he says. Nope, can't even. This is a fortress. There's only one way to get in there. What if the Glock is a piece of meat? <laughs> Considering the manufacturing we saw in the... The truth thing that you get after doing all of the... Subject 16... Puzzles in Assassin's Creed 2... Honestly, wouldn't surprise me too much. All right, now we need to sneak around, find the jerk. I just need that. I must be working too hard. <laughs> that guy's jumping around. I must be working too hard. Mood, milady. Mood. Crossbow. Uh, 
Because he's over here. And there's lots of guards, which maybe I can draw them over, maybe? Oh, that's not good. In fact, this might be the perfect time to test this. Will you die to this? Oh, you're telling me that the Borgia captain doesn't die to crossbows, but the armor dudes do? Who is manufacturing those bullets? Uh, technically, beforehand, yeah, back before when <laughs> the hand cannon was very much hand cannon. And when Leonardo first made it, that is definitely something to feel like that's a little weird. But then in Assassin's at this point in time, it'd be a bit less weird. Because there are actual guns by now. And that guy teleported. He has a piece of Eden. Kill him. So yeah, guns do exist by this point. Granted, why they have bullets that are for my gun, that's uh, not as explained. I'm trying to steal your weapon, please. Let me steal your goddamn weapon. Like this guy. See? Your friend's dead now. And he hasn't run yet, which works for me. And now, gun. You are not escaping this time. You... Unless that guy sees me, which would be very annoying if he does. Because we're probably in gonna be seen territory. Gun! Long last. So yeah, I'm just gonna say it. The game is just very nitpicky at that point. If gun kill, if gun kill, why not other thing kill? Hello, friends. You will die today. <laughs> Would you like to die next? Goodbye. Give me medicine from your corpse. Your health plan must be good. In the wise words of uh, our Lord, uh, my brain is blanking because it just loves to blank on shit. Uh, Alucard, in the wise words of our Lord. Oh, feck off. I shot him off the building. We're losing him. Why is it the one musket man exist here? Why is the one musket man in all of these areas? It's like, I am here to... I wanted to loot him! No enemy can escape the wrath of the ancient Glock. I wish I could take his big gun. That would just be funny to me. I understand why not, but come on. And again, I find it hilarious. The one gun guy in the area exists purely to screw me over. I don't know why that exists when we can easily just climb like this. But as I continue to mock games, Overwatch 2 came out recently, and that was kind of a shit show. Because, like, I really enjoyed Overwatch 1, but, man, Overwatch 2 is ever so slightly a downgrade. 
because, like, the base game, I guess, is, like, fine. But you can't really say, like, ah, oh, yes, this game that has replaced this other game is fine. While also having somehow worse monetization? I don't really think that's something you can really defend too well. What even is this? Oh! Okay, I forgot that was a thing. I... Fine, you want money? I I just got a, a windfall here, have money. I got a windfall, you can have one too. Let's go do this mission over here. Oh, watch 2 came out. Why am I not seeing the most 4K quality Overwatch prawn on Twitter? <laughs> Funnily, everyone was making jokes about that. That first off, a lot of people found Overwatch 1 through the Luge, the Rule 34. But then nobody is making porn of Overwatch 2. Which just goes to show that everything has gone to shit. That Overwatch 2 is vastly inferior to Overwatch 1. And they're not entirely wrong. The base game is a bit more polished, a bit more fun in some ways. The character changes that they've made do feel decent, except for maybe Cassidy without his flashbang. But we wanted to get rid of CC because players found it annoying. But by the way, we're going to keep the ability to shove people off the ledge and instantly kill them. Because, you know, instant death versus chance of living. If the R34 artists aren't on your content, it ain't good content. Either that or extremely niche. <laughs> Ezio, La Volpe. Oh, hey, La Volpe. It's a to see you. But yeah, when you're a AAA and game have you and uh, at my door? <laughs> you don't got any Wait, I know the answer. obsessive artists. You always do. You want yeah, to put my spies to work. Especially when your predecessor was gangbusters. Me. In aiding Machiavelli? No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. What do you mean, a traitor? A serious allegation coming from a thief. What is your proof? He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he abandoned you right before the villa attack. Machiavelli may not please all tastes, but he is an assassin, not a traitor. I am not convinced. What would I need to do to convince you? Uh, he is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Care to accompany me? Well, obviously we follow. know that he doesn't die, because I read his bio, and he lives out the rest of his days in a villa somewhere. Do not be detected while reducing notoriety. Remain undetected until rejoining La Volpe. Do not be detected while reducing notoriety. But notoriety doesn't exist in this game. Is it going to be added, much to my pain? But yeah, overall, like, Overwatch 2 has kind of been a shit show. The launch was terrible, it got DDoS attacked, but then they outright admitted that the DDoS attack merely exacerbated issues they were already having. And it honestly feels like Overwatch 2 has been down more than not. And they keep pulling it down for maintenance to fix things. And it's just like, it just feels bad. On top of the monetization being worse, on the one hand, yes. Like, loot boxes aren't that great, but if you just get loot boxes for, like, leveling up, they should be fine. It's the buying them and then the gambling, which was the issue. And instead, now they make it so you have to pay $20 for one legendary skin. And you only earn uh, 60 cents worth of premium currency a week if you do weekly challenges which is just bad even paladins and smite merely ask you to log in <laughs> they don't force you to do missions what do you make of that maybe he has guards do I have to steal from Machiavelli? Help! 
Volpe! My son Claudio has been injured! They are going to shoot him. I will kill these. Go! Get the others! I will kill these. Get away! Oh, now they're saying, hey, use your throwing knives. Be gone. Gone. So that's Wait, why, Natori. In queue, 40,000 players ahead of you. Exactly. Pay attention, do what I do. All right, this way. Buongiorno. Blend in with the crowd to get La Volpe without being noticed. So, I thought they were just being nice by not having notoriety come back, but no. Notoriety is alive and well in this game. Apparently. And more and more guards just spawn in, apparently. Silence, Poon. I think it's even showing me, like, good blend-in groups to blend in with. And then we auto-walk with them. It would be terrible if the blending in didn't work and we got outed to the guards. That would honestly be terrible. But yeah, funnily enough, I've actually come around on roll queue in Overwatch. But the fact that you can't really earn anything anymore really just chafes my chaps. Segui. Claudio. Honestly, I'd rather Not the play guards, League of Legends. Keep out of sight for a while, Desi. The guards are looking for you. I see they have posters up. Then rip them down. You can pay the heralds a few florins to silence them. Or I can eliminate witnesses. <laughs> you know how to disappear. And now I need to stay out of sight for this. Because now we're back in business. Will the... They're still putting the diddly D at bad places. Nobody's going to look there. I don't even play Overwatch. The only Overwatch content I've ever seen is actually Prawn. So that says something about the Overwatch community. Indeed. I am leaving. I have had enough. Why can't I lock onto that guy? <laughs> Kill an official. We call them witnesses, apparently. Oh. Kind of nice of them to, like, remove all guards from that area. <laughs> but yeah, now we can become notorious. With it not existing for the rest of the game until we did that mission, apparently. It's strange that one of posters don't even exist in AC Revelations. You have to bribe or kill officials. Huh. Interesting. I guess because they also kind of thought that it was a bit stupid to be like, hey, we're going to put, like, wanted posters in places nobody's going to see the wanted poster, and then instantly tearing them down will make people forget you. Like, killing an official will make people, like, a be afraid to come after you, as well as, like... Like, uh, it would also make people, like, uh, bring you up less because they're afraid of you, so people will forget you and not want to cross you. While bribing heralds allow them to kind of, uh, like, uh, push away from all that. What a night this has been. It's daytime, Volpe, Volpe. Listen to me. I know what we saw, but you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. 
I am sure of it. If you do not trust Machiavelli, trust I me. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the Order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgias stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. Yes. And you could even gather yeah, information like that, that way. Idea. Then I will make it so. If I have the money. How much do I need? Game. Oh, they just give it to me for free! Yay! Do you remember Altair's Tower from AC2? If you mean the memory tower we climbed to bang the Templar chick. That's the only Altair Tower I remember. Welcome, Ezio, to La Volpe Addormentata. The inn looks perfect. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. As we talk about it out loud. The guild will be run from here. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate if you wish. Perhaps yep, that tower. There was one to, to jump climbing the tower ah, that was yes, so fierce. We also have gambling. Yep. It is a great source of income. Although I don't remember it too much. Sure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. Good information. Molto bene. Come to Isola Tiberina with your findings. I shall. Full synchronization, baby. Hell yeah. Thieves you. But what was that other symbol, that intertwined staff thing? Restored memory! Restored memory. I forgot what memory 13 from AC2 was. Can you fill me in? Memory 13. All right. You, it, depending on when you played Assassin's Creed 2, you might not remember it because even the IGN guide sp specifically notes like, hey, maybe you don't remember this because we don't either. This was due to the fact that despite memory, despite the fact that you go like, oh, you play memory 11 and then you jump to memory 14, memories 11, no, you play, yeah, memory 11 and then you jump to 14. Memories 12 and 13 are like, Bibbidi ba. These weird things, they feel feel really out of place. Because apparently either they weren't ready for when Assassin's Creed 2 launched, or they were specifically always meant to be. Like DLC. I never played them before. I didn't know that they existed until I was playing through the PlayStation 4 Ezio trilogy. And then when I was playing through Memory 12, and I'm like, I just, I don't remember this at all. This is weird. I don't remember this at all. And then Memory 13 is just bullshit. Because Memory 12 is, you go back to Katarina in Forley, and her city is being attacked by these two mercenary brothers. And that's when the Apple of Eden gets stolen from you after you get stabbed. <laughs> and then after you get stabbed and wake up, you grew a beard, and that's where Ezio's beard came from. And then, to get the apple back, you go back to uh, Florence. To, yeah, I think Florence. Audio de, de, audio, uh, Ezio Auditore da Firenze. You go back to Firenze, and you have to kill nine guys, all of whom seem... That's dog shit. I remember that. <laughs> shit, that was so bad, dude. I know, man. The Battle of Forley DLC was fine. The Firenze DLC, however. Because, like, I could handle some of the shenanigans of the, like, Battle of Forley DLC. It didn't feel that odd to me. But, dear God, did they just put way too many guards in Memory 13? And, like, kill these nine guys. They did not need nine guys. They could have just had it be three. Because one of them is just walk up to a guy and shank him. 
then a lot of the others are lull if you get seen memory stop and I hate those because there are so many guards so many guards in memory 13 and also so many of them just aren't that interesting because they are way 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 too like it honestly felt like memory 13 was made or like not made but maybe like designed by somebody that really liked Assassin's Creed 1 while also having a huge ego about their game they were like I have people find it too easy I'm gonna put guards everywhere and then have lots of them be if you're found out you lose and like some of them were fine uh, finer in like uh, hindsight but yeah Memory 13 was... I will say this. Memory 13, when it comes to being a narrative, like for Ezio, him standing up to the people and say, do not let others control you. You should control yourself. That's fine. I think that is a good, like, narrative bookend to Ezio of Firenze coming to a close. Then... The gameplay was just very bad. <laughs> I tried to bury that memory. Yeah, it's going to haunt me now. It is going to haunt me now. It's just very, very wonky and just... Again, felt like it was made by somebody who... Plays overly defensive over the design of their game. Like, they're like, oh, people found it too easy and then, like, got very defensive and overcompensated somehow. It just it felt bad. For the narrative purpose, it's really good. For the gameplay, oh, man, oh, man. Indeed, you get it exactly. I am glad that I am not the only person. Because sometimes I play stupidly and I miss something and my issue with a game is purely of my own fault. But... <laughs> it's just nice to have some confirmation that I'm not a complete moron. Oh yeah, I forgot I've become notorious now. But, yeah. And then I suppose, since we've been going for about three-ish hours... We will finish this memory, and then we can start, like, clearing out more Borgia Towers and places and do a bunch of side content next time. But yeah. Assassin's Creed 2, like, literally, memory 13 will definitely put me off ever wanting to replay Assassin's Creed 2. Because I did not like it. The boat mission where you need to go and uh, assassinate a guy on a boat without being seen was probably the most angry I've been at an Assassin's Creed game. Like, I'll have moments of game, but m they're mostly just moments, and then I'll quickly move on afterwards. But it was just a conga line of... Like, oh yeah, and the hay bale guy. Yeah. You know, uh, that's the moment where I realized that Memory 13 had to have been designed by a jerk. Because they have an entire assassination mission about assassinating a guy who's hoarding all the hay for food. And you are supposed to use, like, the hay bales to, like, pick off the guards and stuff, but he himself, the assassination target, doesn't come by any of the hay bales to get killed. You have to jump out and kill him. You can't drag him into the hay. What do you mean this guy with the apple of Eden assigned nine random ass guys who get more guarded than 24 monarchs combined? Exactly. They have so many guards. The guards are super competent. And again, this was when I was getting really annoyed that the like throwing knives couldn't one shot anybody anymore because there were so many guards and again so many of them were hey don't get found out so I couldn't even use the gun even if I was inclined to and it's just a random guy it's just a random guy who was like came along picked up the apple of Eden 
brainwashed these nine guys to, like, take over Firenze. Or, like, harden control over Firenze while making puppets out of the Medici, I guess? Because Machiavelli gets thrown out. Like, first off, Machiavelli gets tortured by the Medici. But where is he? The oh. boat merchant was annoying. Like, bro, just stop talking about how you hate the Medici and put a crossbow at your head. <laughs> exactly. Oh. It was just very... Very annoying. I know, hey, this is another place where there is a symbol, a glyph. Well, there doesn't seem to be any guards here. So I should be able to look around for the glyph, much to my wonder. And more than likely, this mission will specifically be, hey, kill the, the guard guy, I guess. Maybe. But yeah, I'm just so happy that other people relate to my anger over Memory 13. Like, narratively, it's good and rounds out Ezio's character. Gameplay-wise, it did not need to exist, especially because the original game existed without it. Honestly, SU should not have given the boat merchant the full risk we have gotten Pache prayer, because fuck him. <laughs> exactly. But at the same time, that would kind of diminish his character arc overall, so we can't exactly just let, let our anger get the best of us. Where is the sigil? It said it was here, unless it's like, oh, this or any of the... That reminds me. The glyph that was in... Well, then again, maybe it, this is another... Hey. We're in the Borgia Captain's area. Then again, apparently this is a big-ass area. I broke my arm. There don't seem to be any guards, but this entire place seems to be like... Interesting that we can't even go there, so I guess it's part of the mission. Which makes sense, I guess. We shall knock on door. Knocky, knocky on the door, go kill a Borgia guy, I guess. It's your auditore! Come in, come in! I'll kill you if you don't. <laughs> this guy's Bartolomeo. amusing. Wait here. You have to meet my wife. It's not the sword, is it? Adesilea! Adesilea! He's always there screaming. Is. Did you check behind the table? <laughs> it's an actual woman this time. Ah, here she is. She's probably a person that's going to betray you. Lieta di conoscervi. I just feel that. Charmed. Truly. I now, love Bartolomeo, talk about dude. War. He's such a good How character. They fight against the French. Bene. My men are holding their own. Machiavelli seemed to think things were more difficult. You know Machiavelli. Abbiamo bisogno del vostro aiuto! Scusatemi. Throw me Bianca. Time for war. Let me get straight to the point. The fight is not going well. We have been attacked on both sides. You want me to turn on the war French for you? The other. But know this. The Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. All right, so maybe you are I think a good I know person. a way to help. Thank you for disclosing this to me, Madonna Dalviano. It is the least a wife can do to help her husband. Kill only the Borgia captain. Well, I guess I could just ignore everybody else. Someone stop their leader before he gets to the tower! Thank you, game. Because I was going... I was going to, like, shoot him with the gun. But 
then the game was like, no, you can't lock on to him again. Which I'm just gonna say, it's really fucking bullshit when the game is like, hey, this guy's gonna run away. Kill him, but also we're gonna make it a pain in the ass to lock on to him. That is just very bullshit if you ask me. You can't be like, lol. We're gonna make it difficult to lock on to the guy we want you to kill. And then be like, oh, by the way, he can run away and lock himself in a tower, and you have to wait five million years for a different guard captain to come out, I guess. Like, it, it, it feels annoyingly designed. I get why it exists, but its existence is annoying. But at least this explains why I couldn't do this one. It was part of the mission. A very quick mission. Hilarious that it's like, the Borgia are weak. I come out, kill the captain. That's it. I saved the day. We did it, Patrick. We saved the city. all that impression. Thank you very much. It is part of my curse where everybody says, hey, you should be a voice actor. And then I audition a lot for all those free projects you see on Casting Call. And I never get casted. Or when I do, the project never goes anywhere. Which reminds me, after I finish this stream, I should probably... Action. The one project that actually is going places I should record my lines for it. And now I need to actually get there. Game. Let me let me go home. Why is it very being very mean? On rocky cliff faces, I just wanna climb. Be on my way. But yeah, I I audition for all of these roles. And then I either don't get cast. Or the project. <laughs> They're like, oh yes, you're perfect, come on in. And then the project just fucking goes nowhere. The ultimate irony is one project was on hold for like over a year. The project head person came to me in the DMs and said, hey, are you still willing to play the character? I'm like, oh yeah, sure. Things are gonna get back on track. Then just like another year goes by. Nothing. He's just like, why must I suffer? The worst part is when a lot of people comment on my audition going, Oh my god, you're perfect! And then I don't get it. And then that whole, like, perfectionist, like, uh, gifted child syndrome kicks in. We're just like, they said I was good, though. Why did I get it? I had the most up votes! One time I killed the boat merchant while getting detected at the same exact time and I was so heated when I got the assassination but still got decent. I go oh god! Oh god, that was something that I was like playing it and immediately when I assassinated him, I felt some like the like oh somebody is seeing you like sound effect played, and I immediately said, if I get it, but it says that I failed, I'm going to flip. You got- you are the alternate universe result of what I feared. You have my sympathies. Ezio, we sent those luridi codardi running for the hills. Yes, we did. Now that the Pope's dogs have fled, I will be able to draw more men to the fight. But first, I want to reinforce our barracks. Who will take care of this? I'm no good with these things. <laughs> you are the educated one. You approve the plans. Well, He's well, a battle person. But in He's return, not a book person. I need to know Cesare and Rodrigo's every move. Can your men keep track of them for me? Of course. I do like that they brought Bartolomeo back. He's a good character. 
I do not want to cat call the architect. <laughs> Every single time I want to talk to the architect, and it's just like Etsy was like, "That's one hot art architect. Look at his mustache. Look at his hat." Isn't she a thing of beauty? Very impressive. More men join us every day. It has become very competitive, which is just the way I like it. As you can see, this board shows the ranks of our top warriors. Prove your skills, <laughs> and you will move up the list. <laughs> Shouldn't I already be at the top? Chance fighting downstairs. If you're looking to show off, we also have fights. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got money on this match. <laughs> The characters in Assassin's Creed 2, or like just the Ezio trilogy, is what really is good. Betty on a fight. <laughs> he has such an aggressive view of the world. However, strategy is equally important. Take these carrier pigeons, for example. Each so that's one what these are going to be a thing. the name of an important Templar in Roma. Eliminate them, and you will have more of an impact than a battle ever could. Thank you, Madonna. Can you ask Bartolomeo to come see me at Isola Tiberina? Bartolomeo is the Cesare assassin with the most personality, in my opinion. He will be there. He definitely feels like it. So these are where the assassination contracts come in. But now we have lots of fucking side content that I'm gonna have to deal with. <laughs> oh, there's so much to do in this goddamn game. Oh, the horror. Oh, the pain. Ah. But that is stuff to do later. Yes. Once more, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Very fun game. Just very vibrant and fun, but... Certain little things very much put me off, like... The glyphs. Finding them in, like, the Colosseo. Oh! Pain. The fact that the game is like... Sorry. We're not going to let you kill this guy with the uh, crossbow. Even though the super duper heavy armored guys die to the crossbow. This guy, no. Remember the stored memory thing you saw earlier. Yeah, that's DLC. The thing is, I don't even know exactly, like, if it's one of those things that is better put off to come back later. I'll probably do it next time just for funsies. It, it came up now. Why shouldn't I do it? <laughs> And hope to God that it's not like Memory 13. Excuse me. I always sneeze in twos for some reason. Nah, do it early. Good. It'll be very interesting to see how things go. Ah. But yeah, Assassin's Creed is very fun. So far, the only annoyances have been randomly like, oh yes, this one... Synchronized points. We won't let you get it in when it's on top of the aqueduct for some reason. And I still don't know why. I still do not know why. It was very frustrating. But... Yeah, aside from the oddity of not being able to, like, lock on to fleeing guard captains, this is a very fun game. Very, very fun. Again, a bit weird that they got rid of the climbing jump. I don't get that. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. But with that out of the way, thank you very much. Oh, I hope it's not like Memory 13. It's kind of worse depending on how you play it. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for <laughs> Memory 13 2 next time. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw, right now I'm kind of, like, mixing things around, but... Eventually, all of these streams end up on my YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. And you can also find a whole huge swath of previously streamed games like Undertale, Kirby and the Forgotten Lands, the Mass Effect trilogy, lots of things there. And then I'm also planning on, like, seeing how decent it is to, like, multi-stream to my YouTube. Just, eh, why not? It's a thing. Bibbidi B. But if you are also one of those people already watching the backlog of mini streams, you can watch me stream these games on both Twitch and also Neon Icy Games' YouTube channel now. 
If you want to know when I go live for these games, you can check my Twitch channel schedule tab, which should have more specific information ahead of time, or follow me on Twitter, in which I will send out a tweet when I go live, and then I delete the tweet after I end streaming so as not to confuse people. Uh -huh. But if you also want other things from me, like art, like my little character in the corner, made by me, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner, for more art. I swear, I'm trying to draw more and uh, not let my brain murder me for it. My brain does not like it when I make art. It's like, it is a waste of time. Nobody loves it. I need to kill that part of my brain. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye bye.